In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 from numbers 10 to 1 countries for entrepreneurs. And just wait until you see the number 1 that we're going to be showing you in this video. Something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So if you're ready, let's cut to the chase. At 10, it's Sweden. The Kingdom of Sweden, flanked by Norway to the west and the Baltic Sea to the east, expands across much of the Scandinavian peninsula and is one of the largest countries in the European Union by landmass. Capital city Stockholm was claimed in the 16th century and border disputes through the Middle Ages established the modern-day nation. Despite its militaristic roots, Sweden has remained neutral in times of war for centuries. Instead, commitment to human rights, public service and sustainability have helped to make it a respected leader in international affairs. Sweden operates under a model similar to those of other Nordic nations, heavily capitalistic with a large percent of spending going toward public service. Once well above the global average, tax rates have decreased and an advanced infrastructure and transportation network assist with equal wealth distribution. Healthcare, as well as a college education, are free and its people boast one of the longest life expectancies in the world. Almost all of Sweden's trash is recycled. Swedes are one of the world's most generous people, donating about 1% of gross national product to humanitarian aid programs each year. The society continues to diversify as a growing number of refugees, currently accounting for 10% of the population, are welcomed into Swedish borders. As a parliamentary democracy, representatives elected to parliament, called the Riksdag, lead the nation with a monarch as a ceremonious head of state. Sweden joined the European Union in 1995, but declined to convert to the Eurozone currency after a public vote in 2003. However, Sweden's export-dependent economy is tightly integrated with the European Union. Both took a tumble with the recent decline of the euro, but Sweden is seeing steady recovery and seeking to expand trade markets for its timber, hydropower and iron ore. Sweden is an enhanced opportunities partner of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It is also a member of the United Nations, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the World Trade Organization And now at 9, China. Home to one of the world's oldest civilizations, China has been ruled by the Communist Party since 1949, when the nation was established as the People's Republic of China. The country is the world's most populous and is considered the second largest by landmass. The central government recognizes dozens of ethnic groups, with Han Chinese accounting for more than 90% of the population. While nearly 300 languages are recognized across the country, Mandarin Chinese is the official national language. China has been one of the world's fastest growing major economies since former leader Deng Xiaoping installed reforms in 1978. A single-party socialist state, China has since moved from being a centrally planned to a market-based economy. China's economy is the world's second largest, trailing only the United States. China's rapid economic development poses several domestic challenges, including balancing population growth with its natural resources, a growing income inequality and a substantial rise in pollution across the country. The World Bank notes that while the sustained economic growth has lifted hundreds of millions of people out of poverty, China remains a developing country with many people still living below the nation's official poverty level. Air pollution in the nation's major urban areas poses a major health risk and the International Energy Agency in 2012 noted that China is the world's largest emitter of carbon dioxide. At the same time, media have reported that China is a major investor in renewable energy. China's rapid economic rise helped secure President Xi Jinping a new five-year term in 2017, with delegates at the Communist Party's Congress voting to name Xi in the constitution, giving him expanded powers. The nation's rapid rise in global influence also has led to challenges abroad. China has come under frequent criticism, most notably from the United States, for its human rights policies. Political freedom remains tightly controlled and China has some of the world's tightest restrictions on internet usage. China regularly ranks near the bottom of international rankings for media freedom. China is recognized as possessing nuclear weapons. 
It has been a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council since 1971 and is a member of several international and regional organizations, including the World Trade Organization and the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation. At 8. Singapore Founded as a British trading colony in the 19th century, Singapore is a bustling metropolis in Southeast Asia and home to one of the world's busiest ports. The vast majority of its 5.7 million citizens live on the eponymous capital island and dozens of surrounding islands complete the city-state. Singapore gained self-governance in 1959 and in 1963 joined the Federation of Malaysia. In 1965, it left the Federation and became independent as the Republic of Singapore. Today, it operates under a conservative parliamentary republic that is world-renowned for its strict laws and tight regulation. While safety and security serve as a major point of pride, residents and visitors are subject to harsh penalties for chewing gum, littering and more. One of Asia's four economic tigers, Singapore has seen impressive growth in recent years as efficient manufacturing and production practices have made way for free market innovation in the booming electronics and pharmaceutical industries. Gross domestic product per capita is high and unemployment is low, making Singapore one of the wealthiest nations in the world. Singapore is densely populated, with most citizens living in urban high-rises. The Singaporean government has forecasted exponential population growth in the coming decades, with immigrants expected to account for more than half of the population by 2030. Space constraints coupled with rapid population growth contribute to concerns about the rising cost of living and income inequality. Conservation, land reclamation efforts and improved environment-friendly practices amid the urbanization and industrial pollution are also a focus. Four official languages – Mandarin, English, Malay and Tamil – cater to the diverse population of a nation that has been an important gateway for international trade. Many also speak Singlish, a slang dialect. Local cuisine blends elements of Chinese, Indian and Western traditions, among others, as do the architecture and local festivals. Singapore headquarters the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation and is a member of a number of additional international organizations, including the ASEAN Regional Forum, the United Nations and World Trade Organization. At 7. Switzerland Switzerland, officially called the Swiss Confederation, is a small country in Central Europe made up of 16,000 square miles of glacier-carved Alps, lakes and valleys. It's one of the world's wealthiest countries and has been well known for centuries for its neutrality. The Swiss Confederation was initially founded in 1291 as a defensive alliance among cantons. In 1499, the Confederation became independent from the Holy Roman Empire. In 1848, a new constitution turned the confederation into a centralized federal government, ending a period of conflict. Since then, the country has enjoyed relative tranquility. Switzerland has low unemployment, a skilled labor force and one of the highest gross domestic products per capita in the world, according to the CIA World Factbook. The country's strong economy is powered by low corporate tax rates, a highly developed service sector led by financial services and a high-tech manufacturing industry. Switzerland is a federal republic made up of 26 cantons and an administrative capital in Bern. Most of its citizens live in towns and cities, the largest of which is Zurich, the most cosmopolitan of the country's cities. The country prides itself on its diversity and is home to regions with distinct cultural identities. German, French, Italian and Romance language all enjoy national status. The country's cultural contributions are disproportionate to its small size. Swiss citizens have won more Nobel Prizes and registered more patents per capita than most other nations. And its neutrality during periods of conflict attracted some of the world's greatest minds to immigrate, including James Joyce, George Byron and Voltaire. Switzerland is also notable for its secretive banking sector. Reporting rules and legislation have led to more transparency, but secrecy rules persist and non-residents are allowed to conduct business through offshore entities and various intermediaries. Switzerland's neutrality has long been honoured by its European neighbours. The country didn't take a side in either of the world wars and is not a member of the European Union. As a result, Switzerland, particularly Geneva, is a popular headquarter location for international organisations, such as the International Committee of the Red Cross and the United Nations, 
though Switzerland did not join the latter until 2002. The country is also a member of the IMF, WTO and World Bank. Next up, at 6, it's Canada. Canada takes up about two-fifths of the North American continent, making it the second largest country in the world after Russia. The country is sparsely populated, with most of its residents living within 125 miles of its border with the United States. Canada's expansive wilderness to the north plays a large role in Canadian identity, as does the country's reputation of welcoming immigrants. Although the Norse briefly settled in Canada during the 10th century, European exploration accelerated in the 1500s. France and Britain angled for control over the region, with the British cementing their dominance in the year 1763. The country was a collection of British colonies until it became a self-governing dominion in 1867. Canadians pride themselves in encouraging all of their citizens to honour their own cultures. In 1971, Canada adopted a national policy of multiculturalism, which celebrates the country's diversity. At the same time, Canada faces national challenges related to the concerns of indigenous people and those in the predominantly French-speaking province of Quebec. While constitutional guarantees allow the province wide-ranging cultural and linguistic autonomy, movements for complete independence comes in waves. The list of accomplished and eclectic Canadian writers and artists is long. Joni Mitchell, Avril Lavigne and Drake are just a few of the Canadians who have made an impression on modern music. Technically, Canada is a constitutional monarchy with the UK monarch as the head of state. The royal leader is represented locally by a largely ceremonial governor generated appointed by the Canadian Prime Minister. The government follows the British style of parliamentary democracy. The capital, Ottawa, is located in the province of Ontario. Canada is a high-tech industrial society with a high standard of living. Trade agreements in the 1980s and 1990s dramatically bolstered trade with the US, and now the two countries are each other's largest trading partner. While the service sector is Canada's biggest economic driver, the country is a significant exporter of energy, food and minerals. Canada ranks third in the world in proven oil reserves and is the world's fourth largest oil producer. Canada is a member of the United Nations, through which it has participated in many peacekeeping missions. It is also a member of NATO and the Commonwealth of Nations. And in at five, South Korea. South Korea, officially the Republic of Korea, is a nation in Eastern Asia with a long history of conflict that occupies the southern portion of the Korean peninsula. Liberated from Japan in 1945 at the end of World War II, South Korea was invaded by communist forces in North Korea a few years later. Aid requested by the United Nations helped end the three-year war and support the South on its way to democracy. A critical divide between the two nations along the center of the peninsula remains. In the decades following independence, strict authoritarian rule took over the recovery of an embattled nation and its sinking economy. The first free national elections took place in 1987, passing control from a dictatorship to the people. In 2016, the country's first female president was the focus of a corruption scandal, leading to her removal from office in March 2017. South Korea's high-tech service-based economy is a foreign investment success story, becoming the first recipient of OECD Development Assistant Committee funds to later become a donor of the funds. The nation has seen steady growth and poverty reduction since the 1960s and is now the world's 7th largest exporter and 11th largest economy overall. The country's capital, Seoul, is located near the center of the Korean peninsula, chosen as such during the Joseon Dynasty 1392 to 1897 for its impressive Feng Shui. It is home to the headquarters of Samsung, Hyundai and Kia, representing two of South Korea's important exports, technology and cars. It has one of the world's largest gross national savings and reserves of foreign investment, reminiscent of a dictatorship that placed heavy emphasis on saving instead of spending. Disposable household income has increased in recent years, and South Korea's large upper class is keen to spend their money on brand name items and products. South Korea's culture is based heavily on the humanist ideology of Confucianism. Today, Christianity is the prominent religion with Buddhism as a close second. South Korea faces the challenge of an aging population. Residents are afforded universal health care and mandatory education through middle school, with enrollment rates consistently at 100%. 
Visitors can explore the country's temperate climate, sweeping hills and mountains, and wide coastal plains, along with 12 UNESCO heritage sites. South Korea is a member of many international organizations, including the United Nations, G20, Association of Southeast Asian Nations Regional Forum, and World Trade Organization. And now in at four, United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is a highly developed nation that exerts considerable international economic, political, scientific and cultural influence. Located off the northwest corner of Europe, the country includes the island of Great Britain, which contains England, Scotland and Wales, and the northern portion of the island of Ireland. The country's role on the global stage faces new questions as the nation has withdrawn from the European Union. The Brexit process sets out new rules for how the UK and the European bloc will operate with each other. For example, the freedom to live and work between the UK and EU has come to an end and UK citizens will need a visa if they want to stay in the EU more than 90 days in a 180-day period. The nation's global influence has its roots in the British Empire that formed during the European colonial era and peaked in the early 20th century before embarking on decolonization following World War II. The United Kingdom of today dates to the formation of the medieval Kingdom of England and later the establishment of a constitutional monarchy and parliamentary democracy in the 17th century. The national government is divided between executive, legislative and judicial branches. The Prime Minister is the head of government and appoints members of the cabinet. The capital city, London, is a major international financial centre and one of the most visited cities in the world. The banking and tourism industries are parts of a larger service sector that powers much of the nation's economic growth. The Industrial Revolution began in the UK and manufacturing, led by the automobile and aerospace industries, is a declining though still significant part of the nation's economy. The United Kingdom has attracted immigrants for centuries. Beginning in the second half of the 20th century, the sources of immigration began to diversify, coming from South Asia, Africa and the Caribbean, as well as from Central and Eastern Europe. Immigration has become a major focus of public debate in the 21st century. The nation has a long history of major contributions to the arts and sciences. William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the greatest writers in the history of English literature. British scientists discovered gravity, hydrogen and penicillin and developed theories in aerodynamics and natural evolution. The nation continues to be at the scientific and technological fore. Stephen Hawking has produced groundbreaking work in cosmology and computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. The United Kingdom is home to some of the top universities in the world, including Oxford, Cambridge and the Imperial College London. The United Kingdom is a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council and is a member of major international organisations, the World Trade Organisation, the World Bank, NATO and the Group of 20. And at three, United States. The United States of America is a North American nation that is the world's most dominant economic and military power. Likewise, its cultural imprint spans the world, led in large part by its popular culture expressed in music, movies and television. The country is grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic and the ensuing deep economic recession and calls for greater social justice reignited in the country following the death of black American George Floyd at the hands of police in May 2020. Public demands to address racial inequality in the country expressed in institutions such as the criminal justice system and healthcare spurred similar movements in countries around the world. In November 2020, the country's voters elected Joe Biden as the nation's 46th president, removing Donald Trump after one term. The country in 2021 is wrestling with deeply polarized politics. The deadly Jan the 6th assault on the US Capitol by Trump supporters who rejected the November 2020 election result underscores concerns about the health and future of American democracy. Following the terrorist attacks on September the 11th, 2001, the US launched its war on terror, including the Iraq war, the ongoing war in Afghanistan and other military strikes, including the 2011 killing of Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden. The war has had wide-reaching effects on the country's politics, economy and global alliances that resonate to this day. The American Connollys declared independence from the British Empire in 1776 and were recognised as a new nation in 1783. 
The country nearly split in two during a civil war in the mid-1800s, but regained its footing in the 20th century, during which time it was on the winning side of both world wars. The US is a constitution-based federal republic composed of 50 states. The US economy is the world's largest in terms of gross domestic product and also the most technologically powerful. The country's most significant exports are computers and electrical machinery, vehicles, chemical products, food, live animals and military equipment. The US also has the world's largest coal reserves. The US is culturally and racially diverse and was shaped by large waves of immigration from Europe and beyond. American literature, art and music reflect the rich heritage of the country's people. The US is the birthplace of jazz and Louis Armstrong, an African-American, is one of the country's most recognized and admired musicians. Prize-winning Jewish writers Saul Bellow and Philip Roth are some of the best-known literary figures in the US. The media industry in the US has a global audience with its television shows, music videos and films distributed worldwide. The country is home to some of the top universities in the world, including Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Despite being the foremost global power, the US still faces domestic challenges including racial tensions, income inequality and an increasingly polarized electorate. All of these fissures were on display during Trump's presidency, as even his own party has been divided on some of the nation's most important legislation. While national security is a concern, so too is the debt incurred from wars and expenditures on an aging population. The US leads the developed world in deaths due to firearms. The US often takes a leading role in international organizations and was a founding force behind institutions such as the United Nations, NATO and the World Bank. At number two, Germany. Germany, the most populous nation in the European Union, possesses one of the largest economies in the world and has seen its role in the international community grow steadily since reunification. The Central European country borders nine nations and its landscape varies from the northern plains that reach to the north and Baltic areas to the Bavarian Alps in the south. Germanic-speaking tribes in northern Europe date to antiquity, but the modern German state took shape in the 19th century. Defeats in the two world wars of the 20th century left the country divided and reunification occurred in 1990 following the collapse of the East German communist state. Germany is a parliamentary democracy. The legacy of Nazism expresses itself today in the form of tough laws that address both hate speech and the denial of the Holocaust. Germany implies a social market economy, open market capitalism that also carries certain social service guarantees. Its economy is one of the world's largest and Germany is one of the globe's leading importers and exporters. Services which include industries such as telecommunications, healthcare and tourism contribute the greatest amount to the country's economy, industry and agriculture are other significant economic sectors. Germany possesses a highly skilled affluent workforce. The country's population is aging however, raising questions about the high level of spending for social services. The overwhelming majority of citizens are ethnic German, with Turks and other Europeans representing significant minority populations. Germany is one of the world's most popular migration destinations, though its open-door policy has become a point of contention in the wake of crimes committed within the country's borders recently. Chancellor Angela Merkel faced challenges to her power following her party's mediocre showing in the September 2017 national elections, a development that reverberated across the European Union. Culturally, Germany has produced some of the world's leading figures in the natural and social sciences, as well as the arts. The land that gave birth to the modern printing press, Ludwig van Beethoven and Immanuel Kant, has strong traditions in literature, music and philosophy. Folk festivals remain popular in modern-day Germany, the most notable being the annual Oktoberfest. Germany belongs to major international organizations, including the United Nations, the European Union, Group of 20, NATO and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. And finally at number one, Japan. Japan, one of the world's most literate and technically advanced nations, is an East Asian archipelago country made up of four primary islands and more than 6,800 others. While most of Japan is covered by mountains and heavily wooded areas, the country's people lead a distinctly urban lifestyle. 
Long culturally influenced by its neighbours, today the country blends its ancient traditions with aspects of Western life. The country can trace its political unification to the late 4th and early 5th centuries BC. Civilization flourished in the late 8th to the late 12th centuries, followed by even more centuries of military rule. The country was isolated from the early 1600s to the mid-19th century, at which point its ports opened up to the west. Japan had grand territorial ambitions in the 1900s, invading several countries, only to be defeated in World War II. Japan has a parliamentary government with a constitutional monarchy. The emperor still holds his title as a symbol of national unity, but elected politicians hold actual decision-making power. The nation with the third largest economy in the world, Japan has largely bounced back from the manufacturing disruption caused by the 2011 earthquake and tsunami disaster. The country is among the world's largest producers of motor vehicles, electronic equipment and steel. The service sector makes up the highest percentage of the economy in terms of gross domestic product and employment. Japan is known worldwide for its traditional arts, including tea ceremonies, calligraphy and flower arranging. The country has a legacy of distinctive gardens, sculpture and poetry. Japan is home to more than a dozen UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is the birthplace of sushi, one of its most famous culinary exports. The country has developed many forms of martial arts. Its most famous traditional sport is sumo wrestling, which can trace its origins to the 8th century. Escalating tensions with North Korea over its nuclear missile program have caused some Japanese politicians to call for amending the country's post-war pacifist constitution. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's continued nuclear tests and threats in East Asia has led Tokyo to seek assurances from Washington that America is committed to its defense. Domestically, Japan grapples with the economic consequences of having the world's oldest population and declining birth rates. Japan is a member of several international organizations, including the United Nations, the Asian Development Bank and the World Bank. And there you have the top 10 countries for entrepreneurs. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.